Methamphetamine is a potent synthetic drug that stimulates the central nervous system. Due to its high potential for abuse, methamphetamine is classified as a Schedule II drug. Most of the methamphetamine abused in the United States now comes from drug trafficking organizations that manufacture it in foreign super labs, although some is still made domestically in clandestine laboratories found across the country. These meth labs have been found everywhere from secluded rural areas to residential, commercial, and industrial districts, including in single-family homes, apartments, businesses, RVs, and even hotels. Meth labs not only endanger current building occupants, but also first responders, neighbors, and the environment. This is due to the fact that the production of meth involves dangerous and explosive chemicals. And, because producing a pound of meth creates many pounds of toxic waste, this hazardous waste is often disposed of down a drain or dumped outdoors. In response, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency published its voluntary guidelines for methamphetamine and fentanyl laboratory cleanup. In it, EPA lists chemicals used in meth production and their many health hazards. A number of these chemicals can contaminate a property. Residues may be left on surfaces, and materials such as carpeting, wallboard, ceiling tiles, furniture, and fabric can easily absorb spilled or vaporized chemicals. These chemicals may pose a significant health risk, including for future building occupants, especially when children are involved. This is why it is essential, and sometimes required by law, depending on the property's location, for a former meth laboratory to be properly remediated by qualified professionals. These are just a few of the many things to know about the hazards left behind by the production of meth. To learn more about this or other indoor air quality, industrial hygiene, environmental health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.